Back in the paddock with Braxton. Boy, Braxton, this is the first time we're going to catch up since your driving title at Tioga. Congrats again on that big season up here tonight, Braxton. you got a few live ones, including this one right here. Right now, one to two. They're backing Fashion Ken. You haven't driven this horse, so what's the... Um, you know, I just watched a couple of his races. I raced against him a bunch at uh, Pocono. Just, um, you know, uh, kind of going to feel him out in the post parade and go from there. That's all you can really do here. Best of luck with him. Now, a horse you did drive, Incredible Badger, one of uh, two you have for Quavedo. Uh, you drove the horse two races back. Looks like the horse has better marks on the bigger ovals up at Woodbine and here. Do you think the move back to the Meadowlands might help this one tonight? Yes. Horse that keeps plugging away, and uh, the long stretch helps him out because he doesn't really give it up, but he's not going to give you a quick burst. So, um, you know, we got the inside, and hopefully we can work something out. Again, some top competition. You know, he's a horse that kind of game plan with that one tonight. You know, I'm with the rail here at the Meadowlands. You just kind of feel it out, and uh, we go from there because um, he's kind of versatile. We don't really have to make a plan before. Well, from the inside, if, if there's no plan, do you prefer the lead? We've seen a lot of horses come from off the pace the last couple uh, weeks here. You know, it's just all about going to shake out on uh, the tempo. If the tempo is uh, too... If the tempo is uh, too slow, then, you know, I'll probably push my way to the lead. But if they're uh, moving along, then we'll just play it from there. Sounds good to me, Braxton. Best of luck the rest of the night. All right. Thanks, Shades. Thanks, guys.